This is Bill with Tandem Cross, making good guns great. If you have the Smith & Wesson 22 Victory, you probably know that the factory extractor often can't maintain a secure enough hold on spent rounds as the pistol is cycling, which can cause failures to eject and stovepipe malfunctions. The Tandem Cross Eaglestown replacement extractor is designed with a sharper hook for a more secure hold and more reliable ejection. And because extractors are consumable parts, we make the Eagles Talon from hardened tool steel for increased durability. Let me show you how to install it so that you can take advantage of everything that the Eagles Talon has to offer. To do this install, you're going to need a 1 8 Allen wrench and a pick. Before we start, make sure that the gun is clear and that there's no mag inserted. First thing, get your 1 8 Allen wrench and unscrew the takedown screw that's right here under the barrel. Then take the upper off and remove the bolt. Sometimes when you take the upper off, this spring rod here will come out of the bolt. If it doesn't, just leave it in, but I will show you how to put it back in near the end in case it does. On the right side of the bolt, you'll see this tab right here. With your thumbnail, pull it back, then use the pick to fish the extractor out. Be careful not to let the spring and plunger go flying as you ease the tab back. Now open your new extractor. It'll go into the bolt in this orientation with the hook facing in. Set the butt of the extractor on top of the, this plunger and push down. You'll feel it kind of shift towards the center of the bolt and that's how you'll know it's in place. It can be a little fussy. You may want to use your pick and push from the side to make sure that it's totally settled in. Now, if your spring rod came out, this is when you'll put it back in. The easiest way to do this is to insert your Allen wrench into this hole at the front of the bolt. Then thread the end of the spring that's hanging off the spring rod right here onto the end of the Allen wrench. Then push the spring rod towards the hole, pushing the Allen wrench out and compressing the spring. The Allen wrench will help guide the spring rod back into the correct position. Now put the bolt back in the upper, settle it into place on the frame, and put your takedown screw back in. And as long as everything moves the way you expect it to when you're done, you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, be sure to let us know in the comments. And don't forget to click subscribe and the little bell button so that you get notifications whenever we upload new content. You can also find us on other social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And you can get this product and many more at www.tannacross.com.